you know, and the first thing the Browns did was trade down. They traded down from 41 to 44. Sort of a weird, a weird thing happened. So the Browns traded down three spots with the Colts to select a defensive back from LSU. They got a fifth rounder in return. Last year, the Browns traded up three spots with the Colts, gave up a fifth rounder, and picked a defensive back from LSU. This year, it's Grant Delpit. They get him at 44. Mary Kay, again, sort of like with Jedrick Wills, it couldn't have worked out any more perfect for this team. Yeah, I mean, this was a guy that they uh, really had their eye on. And uh, you guys, I think, uh, Dan and Ellis, you guys were kind of harping on the safety road. Uh, so it kind of worked out the way that you thought it might with, the, with getting a safety in the second round. But uh, there were some really good ones available at number 44. And, you know, it was almost like pick your poison. You could have had uh, some of the best, uh, most highest rated safeties on the board. Antoine Winfield, your guy, Ashton Davis from Cal. I know you really liked him a lot, Ellis. And, um, and then Jeremy Chin from Southern Illinois. So it was really a, a good safety crop when they picked there. Uh, they ended up going with LSU's Grant Delpit, and it kind of went along with the whole SEC vibe of the day. I mean, <laughs> and of the draft, really. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that they, we are learning some of Andrew Berry's tendencies early on here, and one of them is uh, go SEC early and often. Yeah, uh, Ellis, you know, Mary Kay mentioned it. You liked Ashton Davis, but uh, is Delpit a guy that you kind of had up there too? Yeah, and Mary Kay, not just go SEC, go LSU guys. I'm sure we'll get into that. A whole lot of Tigers on this team now. Um, but, yeah, Delpit is a guy that uh, was ranked real highly for me. Of, of course, like you said, Mary Kay, they really couldn't go wrong at safety, much like at tackle on day one. Uh, Winfield was a smaller guy, 5'9", 5'10"-ish. Um, and then Ashton Davis, 6'1", also a little smaller compared to Tilbert's 6'3 frame. So he's naturally longer. I think he could grow into a bit of a, a tight end matchup, uh, maybe taking on more talented slot receivers. I don't think he's ready for that yet. Um, if he does see the field, he's going to play. But I think there is a lot of competition in this defensive backfield, which maybe we can talk about later. But he's going to be a deep safety. I think that's where he's best right now. Uh, allow him to play naturally, read the field, stuff like that. But like Mary Kay said, the Browns couldn't have went wrong with any three or four of those guys, really. And they landed who many consider the top safety in the draft all the way at pick 44. It was a great start to the uh, second round for them. Yeah, Sky, I mean, kind of the same. It just, it just sort of fell right for this team. And, and on top of that, they were able to add a fifth round pick. Yeah, I think uh, last year's defense would have loved somebody like Delpit. He seems like the perfect guy to – to kind of come up and, and possibly play in the slot or, you know, chase tight ends all over the field. That, that third guy that, that, that we saw them use, we're not sure how Joe Woods is going to line people up, but um, he's versatile and that's important. You know, you want a guy, he was used a lot in slot, a lot in the back of the defense. Um, they have, they brought in two safeties and free agency. Carl Joseph has done a little bit of everything. Um, Sandejo, I think is, has been more towards the, towards the free safety. Uh, but you know, you get more versatility back there. You get a guy who can cover tight ends, and you watch the Browns for a few years, you know all about their struggles covering tight ends in recent years. So it, it, it was a good pick, and it made a lot of sense. It seems to me that, uh, you know, they really got him more so for his coverage skills. I mean, the same way that it was with Greedy last year when he was a second-round pick out of LSU, tackling was a question mark for him. And it is the same thing for Grant. In fact, uh, he joked around on his conference call when asked about his uh, suspect tackling. Uh, he he uh, kiddingly threatened to tackle the person who asked him that question. So uh, that was almost his middle name. Every time you looked up or saw something about him, it was about this bad tackling. So just like it was with Greedy last year, I don't think that, uh, you know, that they are concerning themselves with that as much as they are the fact that in today's NFL, in today's game, I think they really – want him to be able to cover the tight end. Mary Kay, the swagger. Mm -hmm. I completely forgot to bring up the swagger. This guy, <laughs> we're, we're going to love him. Well, whenever we get a chance to start talking to these guys again, we're going to absolutely love him. Uh, he told you uh, to basically write the best secondary in the NFL, all caps, uh, no lack of swagger here. 
from uh, from Mr. Delpit, as you'd expect from an LSU guy, I guess. Yeah, I, you know what? I'm so glad that you circled back to this, Dan, because that was the number one thing that obviously jumped out to me about Grant Delpit. He comes in here with that LSU swagger. Uh, you know, we remember back to last year when Greedy Williams predicted in his introductory press conference that they were going to win the Super Bowl. Uh, so Grant Delpit comes in here today and says they are the best safety in the NFL. He did tell me I could put that all in caps in my headline. We'll see if it stays all caps in the headline. Um, but I did do it. And, um, and, you know, that was just one of the many things that he said. I mean, he was just all over the place. Uh, I mentioned that uh, he kind of had a little bit of fun with, with the reporter uh, saying, you know, I think I'm going to tackle you for saying that. Uh, you know, he, he just talked about, you know, the swagger and just kind of like the LSU iron, sharpening iron with Odell and Jarvis against these guys. And, um, you know, he, he really just, you know, lit it up as much as you possibly can in a virtual press conference, right? Uh, he kind of jumped, uh, jumped off the screen here. And um, it was interesting because we did ask Andrew Barry and Kevin Stefanski about that. And they're like, hey, we like confidence. We're cool with that. Uh, but performance is the most important thing. And we're really going to be more about playing than talking but you know we'll, we'll take some of that too that's what the browns need right they need another outspoken person in the locker room they're really loud.